Good morning and welcome back to the Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade. We have a beautiful parade on, on tap for you today. I'm Carlo Giannotti. And I'm Pat Capello, and I'd like to welcome everyone to the Royal Oak, the 10th Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade. And Pat, as usual, we have a beautiful day. Uh, we are uh, looking at uh, millions of people on the street here. There are stories up and down the street about the excitement that uh, today's parade holds for us. In fact, uh, I talked to somebody, I think we were talking earlier, let me see if I get his name right. It was John Smith. Yes, John Smith uh, drove all night with his family just to be here today at the Royal Oak uh, Holiday Magic Parade. He came in all the way from Ferndale. And, and he got a pretty good seat, I imagine, today. The streets are lined with people. There's an estimate of 200,000 people here. Feels like arts, beats, and eats, doesn't it? I can't wait. Today is going to be a beautiful parade. Uh, nothing less uh, for the people of Royal Oak here. And, uh, Pat, we'll be right back with the Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade in just a moment. Stay tuned. Thanks to your generosity, Marines have delivered Christmas to children in need since 1947. All right, Pat, look, at, we've got the beginning of the parade and I'm so excited I can hardly hold my paperwork in my hands. We have the Royal Oak Police Department, always the traditional start of this parade coming down the street. Excellent, and they, they lead the community and a lot of other things. It's, it's only right that they should lead the holiday parade. Their leader, of course, is Chief Christopher Yonke, and I hope we see him um, riding in the front of the parade. And I think we'll also be looking at the uh, canine officers, let's not forget them, the motorcycle unit, the school liaison that works with the Royal Oak High School, as well as the Pri a Crime Prevention Council. I think there are going to be some officers from the SWAT team as well. I think so. We better watch out. There was a metal detector uh, before we came to the parade today, wasn't there? I, I took the pat down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I took the pat down twice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that full body scan, so the pat down always is uh, <clears throat> certainly the better experience. This oh, is always... Oh, how exciting it is today. The streets really are lined with people. It's as beautiful a day as we have ever seen. We need to thank the DDA for providing this great weather. That's true. You know, as the Royal Oak, uh, as this unit, as the police approach us, we've got to remember that these guys, Pat, of course you know more than anyone that these guys are truly doing more, and women, they're doing more with less. There are first responders, and they've proven themselves time and time again to be absolutely the finest in, in this South Oakland, uh, Michigan, if not in the entire United States. Oh, it's McGruff the crime dog. I'm glad to see him here. And McGruff. it looks like Eunice Stilton walking with him. McGruff is always the high point, one of the high points of this parade. Oh, he's having a little jowl problem today. <laughs> I've had that before. Oh, me too. <laughs> Maybe a little dental work help. <laughs> yes, the Crime Prevention Council, they're very, very helpful. And here we come, Pat, with, of course, the Royal Oak Fire Department. Royal Did Oak Fire Department was established in 1908. I bet you didn't know that. You're exactly right. I didn't know that. Um, and every time I read it, I'm astounded. <laughs> but they became a fully paid department in 1913. And they have a number of special response teams, including a, ha including a hazmat team. And their current chief is Pat Mulligan. And congratulations to Pat as well, Chief, yes. chief Mulligan. Newly, yes, our newly appointed police chief, uh, fire chief. You know, while we have a little break in the action while the fire trucks go by, I'd also like to thank Pat. We were talking about it before the parade. This parade could not be possible without the uh, men and women, the volunteers of uh, WROK, yes. uh, the premier cable company right here in, uh, in Royal Oak. Under the astute production of Richard Wilson. That's of, true. 
of WROK as well. And we need to thank Quill, um, who is a consulting firm that works for the Downtown Development Authority. Thank you, Downtown Development Authority, for making this happen. And we have the Royal Oak Honor Guard coming up next. This is always good to watch these guys. Uh, very solemn event, uh, very dedicated group of, of men. Yes, and they, they appear and participate in a number of Royal Oak events. They certainly represent our city well. It's an all-volunteer squad that represents firefighters as well as the department's officer corps. Always great to see those guys. Now here, Pat, we have the DDA sponsor banner after the honor corps, of course. We got a little peek at it for a minute there, I think. There it is. Yes, the DDA, the proud... Um, they're actually the people who put on this wonderful parade for all of Royal Oak. And it's a great event every year. And we, I can't thank them enough, Carlo, for putting on this event. Here's a little trivia question. Do you know what year the uh, DDA was established? Oh, I think it was 1975 or six. 76, boy, you're, Excellent. you're sharp, I'll tell Excellent. you. Thanks, thanks, Carlo, appreciate that. Oh, and there's the women's club. That, of course, is the Royal Oak Women's Club banner being carried by a few of the proud members. Yes, we've got the president of the Royal Oak Women's Club, Jean Sarnacki, and the vice president, Mary Ann Carmichael. And just past us was the Kensington Church, of course, and now we're looking at the Oakland County Mountie Division, led by Sheriff Bouchard, I believe. He's in there somewhere. Sheriff Bouchard's always around. This mounted group, uh, they're at the, all the parades and they, they actually serve a purpose as well. Did you know that uh, the horse is the best crowd control other than an automatic weapon? I did um, know that. Yes. And they're beautiful horses and they're green. And they're green. They're part of the green technology. That's true. Oh, green, okay. <laughs> yes, and then, and aptly following the uh, horses. There, there aren't there any you, buckets or brooms with them, though. No. There's no buckets or brooms, but there Here are we, dignitaries yes, coming down do the street. Yes, we do have dignitaries. I see the mayor and his lovely wife, Jody. I see Debbie Stabenow. Do you know um, that Debbie serves on a bunch of really important committees? And I see our city commissioners, Jim Razor and his partner, Rich Cook. I see David Poulton and his lovely wife, Jennifer, and their family. And I see Marie Donegan and her husband, Kevin McLogan. We have a, just a star-packed parade today. I'll tell you, you should be out there as well, Pat, but I'm glad you're here too, because you are the dignitary of all dignitaries. Oh, I'd love to be walking, Carlo, but somebody needs to keep their eye on you. That's true. <laughs> oh, how true that is. And who better to do that than BBC <laughs> title? Yes. <laughs> How's that for a segue? That was excellent. They're a proud sponsor of the American flag for the second year in a row. Coming in right behind them, we're happy to have BBC Title as a sponsor. Now this flag is amazing. After the uh, BBC Title banner passes, this is a uh, flag that has been uh, has become part of a tradition of Royal Oak uh, parades. And um, I don't quite know the dimensions, but it's really, really big. Yes, it is. It's 40 by 60, and it uses an awful lot of volunteers. They are members of Boy Scouts. They are members of um, VFW, the Helen Keller Brownie Troop, and the music messengers that are coming down. I think I need to speak more loudly, but... We do have the music messengers. That's Rob Snyder, uh, Mike Rayner. Uh, yes. And they're, they're always marching before the... Uh, the flag here. Excellent. This flag is just beautiful, and it's so symbolic in these times. While we welcome the holidays, it's good for us to remember that there are patriots fighting for us in other parts of the world, and this flag can help symbolize our patriotism and our respect for those people who protect us. That's true. It's just a gentle reminder of the beautiful country that we live in. You know, the interesting thing about this flag, I've seen it on windy days, too, and um, Right now, there's probably about 50 people uh, tending to this flag, but on a windy day, uh, you could use double that. It becomes oh, a yeah. kite. It's beautiful. Thanks to everybody who's willing to help carry that flag. And those are all volunteers as well. Well, some of them are. Some of them are being paid by the hour, I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> and what parade would be without the worry-free lawn, lawn care that just passed us by? 
Oh yeah, the, uh, they're a landscape and outdoor maintenance company and they've been doing snow removal since 1998 in our community. And here we have the Rock and Roll Canines. Do you know anything about this group, Pat? Well, I know that they've been around for a few years, maybe 10 or 15 years, and they have dogs of every variety, shape, color, and they're all trained and they do unforgettable routines. You can see them at the Pet Expo. And by the way, a big shout out to anybody who's looking for a best friend. Head on down to the Royal Oak Animal Shelter. They have a wonderful supply of kittens and kitties for uh, you to take home as companion animals. This is a great time of year to infuse one into your household. You've got a really neat pin on today, uh, Pat. What is that pin? Does that, does that have some... That's uh, to help, help me remember to make sure I tell people that they're, they, they can visit the Royal Oak Animal Shelter if they're interested in a companion animal. That's great. Oh, the Bordines Nursery. This is their first time in Holiday Magic, and they've got a, um, a nice showing of what kinds of things they offer at their several locations. And welcome to the Bordines Nursery for their first uh, time in the parade. I always love a bagpipe, Pat, I can and I hear think them. I can hear them too. It's the Caber Fay Pipe and Butt Drum Band. Ah, and they're going to perform for us. Don't you love it? It's not a parade without Caber Fay. As we say goodbye to Bordines, we're going to take a brief moment and listen to the bagpipes of the Caberfe Band. just passed by the reviewing stand here, one of my favorites. Uh, Royal Oak Brewery is located one block east of Main Street in downtown. And I think they are a sponsor about the Cirque Among Us bikes that we see passing by right now. That's, look how interesting that is. That's amazing. Wow. Now, that looks like a city commission bike, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but you guys would all have to pedal in the same direction. Oh, that'll <laughs> never happen. <laughs> I like the little bike uh, that we saw just pass us by a little, it's a, it's a, I don't know what you'd call it, a recumbent. unicycle, a recumbent? Yes, but it's with the two huge wheels and you're suspended like a spider. There was a bike like that on South Park, I Here think. Here comes the city commission vehicle. There's the city commission bike, I like that. <laughs> no, no, we got to go this way. <laughs> no, let's go that way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a circ among us, that's, uh, that was a great, uh, Oh, Great show just, of talent. We just missed the Pronto banner that went by. They're a pretty active business in downtown, and we need to mention them because Jim Demansky and Bill Thomas are such active civic supporters. There's Pronto right there. Ah, and following right them the is the Ferndale High School Eagles Marching Band. They've been state champions a number of times in the last, oh, including the last two years. Let's hear from them.
All right, we're going to be right back, Pat, take a little break here. There goes the Matthew Hargraves uh, banner, and it's important to know that first, they're the only GM dealer in Royal Oak, and secondly, they're the ones who provided all the trucks for the floats this year. A big thanks to Matthew Hargraves. A big Royal Oak thanks. Oh, we have one little bike here cruising by. I think he's gonna catch up with his friends. Uh. <laughs> Is he cute or what? All right, Pat, we'll be right back after this short break. Back to the 10th annual, or the 10th time that this Royal Oak Parade has been run, and right now... 10th and the best. The 10th and the best, The of best course. so far, certainly. We've had 12 people come up and tell us that this is the best parade. You had 12. Well... I had 156 in my life. They said, where's Pat? That's all they kept asking, where's Pat Capello? <laughs> yes, oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, well, Pat, here we have the, one of the, uh, it's become a tradition here in the parade, another tradition, it's the bookworm float. Parade Company Float making its Royal Oak. This is not the Royal Oak debut. This has been here before, hasn't it? Um, well, we've had a number of floats from the Parade Company. This might be the debut for the Bookworm. And I think it's a great that, that we you. are having uh, new floats every year. I think this one might be. Oh, okay. Well, I, there was a caterpillar of something last year. Maybe I'm getting my insects uh, confused. <laughs> yes, it, uh, it could have been the... Emerald ash borer that was in the parade last year. It and it's good to underscore the bookworm that reading is important. And it's a it's a talking bookworm as well. My father always told me if you can read, you can do anything. And so I think it's important for everybody out there watching this parade, pick up a book. My father used to say if you could dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> of course you're probably took his advice. My my father's advice was not really. Okay, never mind. Anyway, we have the Goldfish Swim School. Oh, uh, my favorite. My favorite. A, do you know they can start them at four months old? I didn't know that. Yes. I do now. This is located in Birmingham, just opened a Farmington Hills location. And again, the banner is being carried by parade marshals who are of the Royal Oak Women's Club this year, of which I am a very proud member. And this is the Harmony Acres Arabian Horses. Oh, I love this horse watch. farm. This horse farm was founded by Nancy Harm. I think that's her in the middle. She's an adjunct professor at Schoolcraft College, and I, she's developed ways to train horses. I think I told you this last year, Carlo, but those horses can do over 70 different tricks, which is way more than I can do. Oh. I can't rub my tummy <laughs> and at, chew gum. <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> do, do. They are magnificent animals. Beautiful, just and there's, beautiful. There's a, there's a job you'd like to have sometimes, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, the Would taxi you? service, the John Deere taxi service. <laughs> we, uh, we're full service here in Royal Oak. <laughs> no question about it. That's the wonderful transport vehicle that the horses come in, I would imagine. Yes, yeah, see the, on the side of it, it says Tarifa, and that's... That's their magnificent stallion that began the whole thing for Nancy Harm. So he rides in style. Wow, it's better than my uh, my vehicle. Right behind the uh, horses, coming up after the uh, Tarifa's transportation vehicle, we've got C and G newspapers, as well as Saab, a new member of the Royal Oak community. Right, they've provided the convertibles for this year, this year's uh, participants. I do think we have some beauty queens coming up. Um, and some king and queens from Royal Oak High School. So their vehicles have been provided by Saab. Thank you, Saab, new to our community. I keep waiting for them to provide me with a convertible. That was part of the deal, I thought. But I think, yeah, but I think you have to leave town to get it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll stay here. I'll keep driving my car. They made that offer to several of us. Oh, <laughs> I, well, that's a subject for another show. Uh, yes. Here we have C&G Newspapers, a proud, another proud sponsors of the, this year's parade. CG newspapers helped make a holiday magic guide that appeared in the Royal Oak Review, and they've got a big fan standing right behind us. <laughs> Pat, right behind them is the Stagecrafters of uh, unit. Of course, we all know about Stagecrafters. Uh, 
and they're promoting White Christmas, which is their next show. I understand it's almost sold out, so anybody who wants to see White Christmas better act quickly to try and get your tickets. I'm told that if you need more information about the show and all upcoming shows, you can visit the web website at www.stagecrafters.org. And right after this parade, they're going to be offering uh, at the Baldwin Theater, stop in for some cider and cookies. My favorite. You know I'll be there. Two hands. Um, the hard cider's later. Oh, oh, okay. I'll just come back later then. I hear some uh, some musical talent coming up here, but before we'll have the we have the Fourth Street Auto, a proud sponsor, another proud sponsor of the uh, community. They enjoy being part of the uh, community and are sponsoring the parade for the second time. And right behind them is Helen Keller Troop 1264 from Helen Keller School. Junior Girl Scout Troops 1264. Always a pleasure to have them in the parade. Welcome, ladies. Let's see if we can get them to wave, Carlo. Yeah. I think their parents have told them not to wave at strangers, Pat. <laughs> yes. Can we get anybody to wave? Yay! Okay, <laughs> we got one. Hooray! I think he's waving at you, though, Pat. I'm <laughs> he's not part of the parade. <laughs> hey, we do believe that happens to me a lot, Carlo. Look at the stagecraft. They're still performing here. This is amazing. How wonderful. That's just a taste of what they can do. <laughs> Go Blanche! Tell us! <laughs> and I bet you that's Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a good chance. Well, have they got the moves or what? Oh, they do. Makes me sore just watching them. Oh, yeah. Would you, would you, did you know that I once took tap dancing classes? I did not know Right that. after I retired, about 10 years ago, you know Phil Smith from the Senior Advisory Board? He yes. and I are both hoofers. Oh, I didn't know that. Next <laughs> time I see hoofers. Next time I see him, I'm going to mention that. Oh, yes. He's a, he's a tap dancing fool. <laughs> People don't know that about him. I, I, they didn't know I'm about gonna, me either. I'm going to remind when I see him, I'm going to remind him of that. So as the stage crafters gently walk down Main Street, we have the 4th Auto Street and the Helen Keller Troop now coming up. They're dancing their way down. Oh, yes. Oh, they're doing the twirl routine. They're very face famous, world now, renowned did, twirl did, routine. Did you and Phil do the twirl routine when you were? Oh, we could never master it. That takes years of intense concentration and study. I see. And we have a, uh, the pavement uh, is, is spectacular here in Royal Oak. Oh, yes. And clearly, we spent a lot of time uh, maintaining it, too. And here come the Helen Kelly Girl Scouts. See if they'll wave now. Wave, ladies, wave. Must have been something we said. I don't, well, I'm not sure. Well, it might be hard in the tree suit. Yeah. <laughs> Following them is the Detroit School of Rock and Pop. My favorite. My favorite. This school provides exciting and motivating musical experience, playing music for young people and basically being all around cool guys. I think we're going to be rocked out here, so let's listen. Rock! There we go. Let's hear what they have.
Well, we'll find out in a little while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, what's right behind him with the basketball, the Detroit Die Hards wheelchair basketball team. Uh, we should give them a warm welcome um, for, to the Detroit Die Hards. It's their first year in our holiday parade. That can't be easy. No, but that's uh, you got to give them a lot of credit for doing that and keeping, uh, well, keeping up the uh, the tradition. They've determined uh, they're determined next year to bring home to Detroit the national championship. Go Die Hards! Yay! We have a lot of national championships right here in Royal Oak. And soon we'll have a new one. We seem to have a little break in the action. I think what we're seeing is the Aileen Kame Irish School, the School of Irish Dance. I think they're putting on a little show for the crowd. They are. Right behind the minivan. They are a performance-focused Irish dance school and they're based, led based in Rochester, Rochester Hills. And they're led by Kimberly Mikulski, who established it in 2008. Good Shortly Irish after, name. Good Irish name, like Capello and Gennady. <laughs> it was established in 2008 shortly after moving to the United States. She came from England. Sure, and I think this weather is better than the St. Patrick's Day weather, don't you? Oh, I would take this all day. <laughs> Me too. St. Patrick's Day parade was a little chilly, wasn't it? It was a hurricane. <laughs> but we were there, Carlo. We Diehards that we are. We were the only ones there, too, if I remember. <laughs> well, that in the, yes, almost. Well, that was a great to see the uh, Aileen Kimmey. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. And here we have the State Farm Insurance Agency banner. They are proud sponsors of the parade this year. They're located at 417 East 4th Street. State Call Farm. a good neighbor. It's amazing the depth of businesses and talent we have right here in Royal Oak, isn't it? Absolutely. We're pretty self-contained. We are. We never have to leave. We, we could be our own country. Yes. You and I announcing everything that happens and, and Richard and his volunteers taping it. There's Who could no, ask for anything more? There's no stopping us. Nope. Nope. Oh, the Boy Scouts. I love the Boy Scout Pack 1627 from Helen Keller Elementary School. You know what's great about this? This pack and many of the other... Uh, Boys and Girl Scouts here are uh, supported the Royal Oak businesses and they participate in the parades every year since the beginning of time. They're excellent. It's just wonderful. And I'm glad to see that we have a very strong scouting family in Royal Oak. Boy, I remember those days. I was a scout. Did you know that? I, I was a brownie and a Girl Scout, yes. My grandkids are scouts. They have so many wonderful events for children. They have so many teaching opportunities um, all the way from the lowest level up through Eagle. It's an excellent program. And look at these guys here. This is Walsh College, of course. This They're is, business uh, yellow suits. The briefcase brigade. Brigade? That's hard to say. I think we're style setting here in Royal Oak. What do you think, Carla? We're setting new trends, as always. love the yellow suits you know, and gonna, the briefcases. I'm going out to get one made today, just like that. It's not my color, but I'll try it. They look like they're having fun, don't they? They do, absolutely. Walsh College is an exciting place to go and Live. learn new things. Oh! There's hey, can I see paws there? There's Paws, the Tiger mascot. Go Tigers! Go Paws! And right behind him, right behind him is Candy Band, the rockin' group from Homegrown from Royal Oak. They're high energy, punk style kids music. Can you hear it? They just released their fifth album. Do you have that yet? I do. I went out and got it. Oh. I waited in line for about a half an hour and then I had other things I had to do, but I'm going back and get one soon. <laughs> oh, here comes the circus train. 
Carla, we I always as a kid loved when the circus came to town. How about you? I love it. I uh, there's still a lot of clowns here too. So you're not kidding. <laughs> this, of course, is the circus train and the clowns from uh, Redford. Circus train is a float provided by the parade company. Again, another float making its Royal Oak Parade debut. Yes, I've not seen this one before, but it's a wonderful float, and I love the balloon hat by the um, by the lady in the engine driving the engine. I think that's a lady. <laughs> Clowns are uh, asexual, yes, yes. It's hard to tell, yes, but hey, this is a caboose, I know that. <laughs> Everybody loves a clown, except, <laughs> except yes. in business. Of course, if you're looking for more information about this, uh, this group of clowns, you can go to www.clownsaroundredford.org. There's a cloud giving a little clown giving a little entertainment to the crowd. That's Jinx, I think, on the caboose, if I remember correctly. And here we have the banner for Bright Ideas Furniture located on the corner of 2nd Street and Main in downtown Royal Oak. They are again a sponsor this year. Um, we love having them around and they have um, they have three levels on their store, so you can find anything you need at their store. It's a great store. You also. can find anything you need in downtown Royal Oak at all of our stores, but this one is particularly a great place to go. Bright Idea is a sponsor of this year's parade, and they're also sponsors of many other uh, worthwhile efforts in the city of Royal Oak. Yes, they are. Proud to have them as merchants in our community. Great furniture, too. Here is the Borgo School of Dance, and we can see that they are doing a dance routine. They are a non-competition studio so that means everyone is admitted even if they're like me with two left feet but only the highest performers meet make the cut for the uh, parade and i hope uh, i hope they stand before us and give us a little demonstration it's always great to see that yes i can see them down the street doing a little bit um they've performed all over the metro area and they're just they just look gorgeous in their pink outfits i've got an outfit like that and they're waving carla Yay. They're waving at you, Carlo. <laughs> yeah, there are many high points of the parade, but the Borgo uh, dance troupe is always one of them. Always one of them. They're a high energy group. It's nice to see them get up early and come out here to entertain all of us and help us get ready for the coming holiday season. I hope they, I think they're gonna do a little number down the street. That's a really good shot of our pavement. <laughs> oh, you know what's coming up is the Moslem Shrine Lancer Mini Cars. Oh, that's why, of course. They're it's... 1988 Plymouth Prowlers. They're always an exciting group to watch. Everyone would like to be a part of this group. You know, sandwiched in between the Borgo School of Dance and the Moslem Shrine Lancers, we don't want to miss the Lockhart's Barbecue. A new neighbor in the Royal Oak community. Great oh, yes. food, I hear. Yes, and I've been there, and they serve excellent food. It's a great place to go. I can recommend their ribs, and I can recommend their brisket. Both excellent. Hey, we better get Chief Yankee down here with the Royal Oak Police Department. These guys look like they're going crazy out here on Main Street. Oh, yeah. Get some tickets. Get uh, some tickets. <laughs> no, let's suspend the tickets for today. All right. Let's let everybody enjoy it. But just for today. You know, every year I'm amazed at how those guys get in and out of those little tiny vehicles. Me too. Me too. Maybe one of these years we'll ask the director, because he lives in Royal Oak. It's David L. Talbot. You know him. <laughs> and lots of Mazzola oil. Oh, I see the gentleman on the uh, golf cart is carrying a large scimitar. I think that means no tickets today, Carlo. And if we're going to give a ticket, you're going to have to issue it. Scimitar. That's a. I like that name. It's a big sword of some form. Seriously, their motto is, we ride so children can walk. Yes, they're a great organization. They do a lot of things for kids. Coming up, we have the banner for the Motor City Auto Spa. They, too, are a sponsor of the parade this year. And uh, along with them, they've got a 1927 Ford Model T, 
and a 458 Italia Ferrari. Yeah, I let them use my car for the parade today. I hope they're careful with it. You know, Carlo, that I, I always hate to spoil your Christmas surprise, but I was chatting with Carolyn the other day and she told me that you are gonna get a new car for Christmas. And guess what? It's one of these two. I won't tell you which one, but it's one of these two. I would imagine he's gonna pull the Ferrari right over here and hand me the keys right now. Oh, that could, I, I, I think that could happen. It could. Maybe I've had the hard cider start, <laughs> started already. These guys are located right on uh, 11 Mile here in Royal Oak. I wonder if we could get a ride in one of those. Well, if you cause a distraction, I'll go over and <laughs> grab the keys and we'll go for a little spin. A little smash and grab, okay. All right, I'm up for that. Right behind them, look at that, I'm loving it. That was the McDonald's banner, who was the, and McDonald's is a sponsor this year as well. And they sponsored the Santa Scamper that happened just before the parade. That was a great event. I, uh, I watched it on the sidelines. It was great to see all of the participation and all the kids and adults who ran in that uh, Santa Scamper. One of these years we'll have to run in it. You know, McDonald's is not only a great place to go, but it's also the sponsor of the Royal Oak High School Marching Band, in addition to the Scamper, as you said. Yes, and I hear them right now. They're going to be right in front of us and perform in just a minute. There's more than 60 members, and they are directed by Mr. David Jensen. And I bet you this year they're going to play a medley of Christmas carols. What do you think? I'm, I'm betting on it. All right, let's see what they have to offer. down there marching with the band was, the, of course, the uh, Royal Oak High School dance team. Oh, yes, right, that's right here, right behind them. Go Ravens. Yes, they were led by the flag team, and uh, th that is just so nice to watch. And here we have the dance team, and maybe they will honor us with the selection as well. They're getting ready for a competition, I understand, in Orlando. Take me with you. <laughs> we'll drive down in my new Ferrari. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and right behind the dance team, I see the banner for Qdoba. Qdoba is a, again, it's a proud, the business is a proud sponsor of this year's parade. And they, of course, have 11 metro locations. One of the best right here in Royal Oak, though. And right behind them, we will see the Royal Oak High School homecoming king and queen. This is always exciting to see the pair that the Royal Oak High School has elected to represent them. This year we have King Bill Leonaeus and Anxi Mirpesa. Congratulations to both of you as the king and the queen. Oh, and there's uh, BD from BD Mongolians. Uh, go Mongo. Mongo, Mongo, Mongo. <laughs> He's got a Mongo walk. He does. I never knew what a Mongo walk was until <laughs> Mongo, of course, oh. is the... High five. Mongo men walking with banner are the mascot of the Mongolian grill. Oh, right behind them, the Birmingham YMCA gymnastics team. And well, they're, they are performing for us. How excellent. It's nice to see people who focus on fitness for youth, and I'm glad that the YMCA gymnastics team has come out here to inspire the I, youth of Royal Oak. Well, not only the youth, I'm pretty inspired too. If you hold this, I'll see if I can do a couple cartwheels. <laughs> you better call 911 right now though. There's Citizens Bank coming up uh, right behind the uh, gymnastics team. And once again, Citizens is a proud sponsor of this year's parade, so we want to give them a little shout out. Go do your banking at Citizens Bank. They're all dressed up in great Santa hats. Happy to see them walking today. They 
they're a big part of our community. They do. They take a lot of part. Uh, they take part in a lot of the uh, organizations here and uh, sponsor a number of events. You're right. And right behind them is, of course, the Helen Keller Elementary Brownie Troop. Pat, you were a brownie. I you absolutely said. was. Yes. Once, once a brownie, always a brownie. They oh, say. Oh yes. And like the Marine Corps. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Semper Fi. Semper. <laughs> this brownie troop is made up of first and second graders from Helen Keller Elementary School. And last spring, you know, they did, they participated in Royal Oaks Adopt a Park program, which is usually in early April. Everybody goes out and cleans up a park. Thanks, girls. We appreciate that. That's good service to the community. Right now, Pat, we're, we were looking at uh, Brenna, Brenna Danielson. She is Miss, um, Miss Michigan High School America. Excellent. She's beautiful. And she's going to the national competition in San Antonio, Texas, where it's a lot warmer than it is here. It's about 80 in Texas right now, I'm sure. She's Good. a beautiful girl. She stands a good chance. Beautiful smile, too. Oh, yes. Of course, it's a beautiful day here in Royal Oak. Who can't smile? Oh, perfect. You're exactly right. Right now, we have Miss Oakland County and Miss Outstanding Team Michigan. Elizabeth Ann Hawthorne is Miss Oakland County. And uh, Morgan, Morgan Stocker. Morgan Stocker. Again, two beautiful, beautiful girls. Miss Oakland County teen and Miss Oakland County. Wonderful to have beautiful women gracing the parade. Right behind him, Dwar Leather, a legend in its own time. They've been around Royal Oak for 27 years and they are dressed in appropriate Christmas God attire. God Christmas <laughs> attire. You know, Pat, it's a little known fact that uh, Noir Leather, that's where I'm registered there, if anybody has any uh, idea of getting me a Christmas gift. Yeah, tell them I uh, did pick up the leather pant the leather chaps for you this year, so um, scratch that off your list if that's what you were planning to get, Carlo. We've the just, fingerless gloves are still available. We've though. just chased everyone away with that visual. <laughs> no one will ever come to the parade ever again. We have the... Uh, they have stilt walkers, hula hoopers. They have a lot of talent. You know, all kidding aside, Noir Leather has been in Royal Oak for 27 years, and they have been a proud participant and a sponsor of many civic events. Glad to have them. And they are a unique opportunity among our merchants. And Coming right up right behind, the Royal Oak Hockey Association. They've been around for 56 years, and it's an it's a very old and established hockey association. I know my 41-year-old son went through Royal Oak Hockey Association when he lived at home with me. They have a great program and great interaction, and it's uh, social opportunities as well. You know, before we have Luther Badman coming down here, I want to mention real quick, if you want to go to the RoyalOakHockey.com for some free hockey information. And by the way, the Royal Oak Hockey Association is sponsoring a Try Hockey for Free event on December 18th. Get your kids out there. Find out what it's all about. The Optimist Club. What can I say? They're pretty optimistic, aren't they? They're all excited. They're all marching. They're all happy. Right behind him. Who is it, Carlo? Who Luther. is that? Luther, Keith, Badman Blues. Go, Luther, go. We'll let them enjoy the Luther Badman uh, Blues for a second, and we'll get right back to the parade. That was a toe tapper, wasn't it, Pat? Oh, yeah, I love Luther's bad man. Toe tapper. I've been trying to work that in all day. <laughs> right behind Luther, we have Shine, located right off of Washington between 6th and 7th Street. Yeah, uh, fabulous gifts there for the holidays, including candles, books, and more. Buddha bowls. They have Buddha bowls if you're looking for something for Christmas this year. You know, I'm just trying to figure out who on my list would appreciate a Buddha bowl. You'd be surprised. Northwood Elementary Girl Scouts, again, another high point of this parade. Northwood has Girl Scouts at all levels. Daisy, Brownie, and Junior. 
Oh, excellent. It's so nice to see the scouting program and nice to see them participating in our parade. They're all so cute. They're dressed up as Christmas packages. Wonderful addition to our parade. Oh, look at this. It's the Royal Oak Church of God of Prophecy, led by Pastor Everett and Emma Holloway. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. They're committed to leading their children's church float from Vacation Bible School. You know, they wanted to remind us to remind everyone else in Royal Oak that they have lessons, snacks, crafts, and games every Sunday at 11 o'clock and Wednesdays at 7.30 right there at the church. Excellent. Bring your children home. I see a kilt. We'll be right back after this message. All right, Pat, we're back at the Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade. What a great day we're having today. Oh, it's perfect, and I thought we had 200,000. I think it's more like 300,000 people here crowding the streets and looking, have, having fun, looking at all the floats and participating. It's just a wonderful time. We just missed the Scottish American Society. They just went by Hootman in a kilt, and thank goodness that we have the perfect weather for wearing a kilt. What does Hootman mean? Do you know? I think it says, don't touch my haggis. <laughs> okay. That's the polite way of saying, don't touch my haggis. You won't have to worry about me. Haggis is not on the uh, favorite recipe at the Gennady household. You can Here, serve it over pasta. <laughs> <laughs> we also, I think, miss the, well, we know we have them coming up right now, the Dabrasovic Food Company. It's a fresh idea, delivery, quality, locally grown produce right here in Metro Detroit and brought to your doorstep. Oh, excellent. I understand they work with local farmers. And there's a lot of farmers around here, too. Uh, if you're looking for more information, go to www, and I've got to spell this one, dobrosovichfoodcompany.com. Oh, here oh. we go. These guys have been in our parade for quite some time. Coming up, and you can just see them. There they are, right there. The Redford Township Unicycle Club. You know, I was watching some reruns from past uh, holiday parades. You got those lessons for Christmas, didn't you? I did. I haven't used them yet, but I'm thinking about it. This is always amazing. To watch, you know, if standing here at street level, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. These guys are towering above the crowd. Unicycles must be 30, 40 feet high. Well, no, they're not that high, but you get the idea. What fantastic grace and balance they must have. Balance is something you lose when you get older, so I can really appreciate how difficult it must be to balance and keep something like that moving forward down the street. And well, by the way, how do you get off those tall ones? They don't. I think they sleep with those things attached. Once I think you have to come upside alongside the, a truck. That's why they, their motto is, once in the Redford Township Union Cycle Club, you're always in the Union Cycle Club. You just That's stay catchy. Yes. That's really catchy. Hard I bet they say, hired a publicist for that one. <laughs> it's amazing to see these uh, men and women running in and out of the big, tall uh, unicycles as well. And they're they very talented, and I understand that they have classes for all ages, not just the young. We see a lot of younger people here, but we see people um, more into your age group, too. You mean the 20 to 30 year olds? Yeah. Okay. You can go online and find them at the, I think it's www.rtuc.org and sign up for classes. It's always great to have them here. Or you can come right down here and watch them and ask one of them, hey, how do I get to do that? It's wonderful to see it. If you're not here at this parade, you are missing the best parade I have, we have been to. We have ever. thrills and chills and hopefully no spills. And crocodile too. Tears. <laughs> So that was the Redford uh, Unicycle Club.
Let's give them a big cheer. They have the follow-up van here broadcasting the music. And I think we have a unicyclist in training just coming into our view right now. Yep. That's how you start, Carlo. You have people walk on both sides and hold you while you pedal. That secret's been revealed, just like a magician's secret. they got to hire people like that. The whole just... world knows now. Well, that just tells us we can all do it. Exactly. And here we have the Kiwanis Club of Royal Oak. Coming Yay up right for the behind Kiwanis. Them. With all our favorite Kiwanians. Glad to see them all. Are they Kiwanai? Kiwanai? Kiwanians. <laughs> Kiwanisies? Uh, the Royal Oak Kiwanis Club doesn't need any ex uh, explanation or introduction. They've been here for over 50 years in our community. Oh yes, and they service a number of, they support a lot of things like the Special Olympics and the Reading is Fundamental program. They're everywhere and they're always, always a, a great group to deal with. It's organizations like that that make this such a great place to, to live and We have a enjoy. lot of service clubs in this city, you're exactly right, and they're one of the premier ones. We've got the Oakland Community College, uh, largest of Michigan's 28 community colleges, of course, right here in Royal Oak. They've just passed us by. And uh, we've got the Upton Elementary Brownie Troop, first and second graders from Upton Elementary Troop 75095. And right behind them, we have the banner for Imagine, the new theater that's coming to Royal Oak at 11 Mile and Troy. They are the proud sponsor of the CAS Technical Marching Band that you might hear approaching. You know, CAS has been in this parade for quite a while. And it's hard, as they walk by, not to tap your toes to get into the Christmas spirit when you see them come by. Yes, they do. They're such a, a fine band, and they have such a wonderful precision unit. And they're just as exciting a performance as you ever hear. Thanks to Imagine, let's hear what CAS. Merry Christmas, guys. could hear if I could do some of those moves I could but I'd be in traction for at least three weeks oh you underestimate yourself Carlo as usual you're too modest you know the cast tech uh, as I've said they've come here before they've played in such places Florida Tennessee Virginia Texas all over the world but I talked to one of the band members before this is the high point of their Christmas year right here oh, in Royal Oak. yes well it's the high point of all of our uh, seasons yes Right behind them, we had the Shrine Catholic School Brownie Troop, 42412. Go they're, Knights. They're, an, they're go what? Go Knights. Go Knights, okay. Shrine Knights. Yes, they are a, they're a pretty new Brownie Troop, but we're glad to have them participating in this event. Oh, Magic 105 van. They're proud to partner with Royal Oak this year for a second, collecting toys along the parade route. 
So anyone who has a toy, feel free to toss it in there. Ah, and the, the Marines are back helping collect Semper Fi. Semper I was Fi. a little early on that, but the we Marines can are gathering again now. They're gathering Sem Semper Fi. Semper Fi. They're gathering toys up and down the parade route, and it looks like they're keeping very busy. One thing is Royal Oak is a very generous community. It is, absolutely. I, the people here are always amazing me. It is the warmest community, and it's our people make us what we are. You can see the Marines and uh, other volunteers loading up the toys. And Pat, what's important to know here is the toys collected today will be given to families in the Royal Oak community and, and help make a few uh, smiles this year. Absolutely excellent. No child without a Christmas. I know we have a number of groups that are dedicated to that, and it's wonderful to see the Marines collect along the route. And we should never forget that the Marines are uh, one of our first line of defense, and again, this isn't the Memorial Day Parade, it's not the uh, Veterans Day Parade, but we need to remember all year round that these are the people who protect us True. and make us free. And there we see a big bright sun, and we've got a lot of that today, Pat. Oh, uh, yes, this is the a... Mother Nature float. Can't fool Mother Nature. Another float from the Detroit Parade Company, and I think this must be making its debut, Carlo, as well. I've never seen this one before, but how I haven't. friendly it is. Oh, everything's smiling. The sun is smiling. The flowers are smiling. Mother Nature's flying through the air, but she's smiling too. I think that's Mother Nature, isn't it? Yes. What a great float, I'll tell you. <laughs> beautiful. It's just beautiful. You know, this Royal Oak Parade has grown in the 10 years it's been uh, here in Royal Oak from a few wagons and participants to what we see here today. And we have to thank the businesses and we have to thank WROK, of course, and the, and the volunteers who and make this. And the DDA. And the DDA and all of the sponsors. We're to put it on and all of our uh, businesses that sponsor. Well, we've got a little break in the action, Pat. You and I have done this for quite many years and we've seen scarce crowds, but today it just warms your heart to see the thousands of people that are here today enjoying our parade. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm glad we had this great weather because I think that's contributing to people coming out, seeing it, enjoying themselves. I, I can't, if we were to count the children, look at all the children, the happy children, the balloons. I don't think uh, the cameras can see it, but from our vantage point, there's a bunch of little kids over there dancing to dancing. our next float. Oh, it's wonderful, yes. It's I think they're dancing to the Tangerine Moon production coming up. They're a production company. They're known as the home of Detroit's biggest act. And they do everything, from the mega 80s to the Boogie Dynamite. That's, I'm a Boogie Dynamite kind of gal. Let's listen to them boogie down. <laughs> All right, we, you know, of course, uh, Pat, the music that we heard was from Hype Syndicate, newest of the Tangerine Moon production bands. Yes, oh, they were wonderful. They're still, I can still hear them, and they're still wonderful. That's a, a, a female lead singer. And here we have Fox 2, Dina Centifani and Jay Towers. I bet you they wish they were here oh, and yes, not riding in that cool so Saab convertible. They're this year's parade marshals. Wonderful to have them. Dina Santafonte is the health expert for Fox 2, and Jay Tower runs a morning show and... Um, bunch of other stuff. Bunch of <laughs> other stuff, yeah. They're all way too talented. Nice of them to come and join us, though. Jay, wanted, nice. to, Jay wanted to trade the headphones with me this morning, but I said, no way, because I want to be here when our next exhibit oh, event shows I up here. I see reindeer. Well, the reindeer in between. They're getting a little practice walking to get ready for their big ride. 
You know, but, when, when you but see the reindeer, reindeer walking from rooftop landing reindeer, they're great. I'm having them come to my house this year. And when you see reindeer, you know what follows. Of course we do. It's the star of the show. The man and the woman in the red hats. That wouldn't be us. That would be, oh, that would be somebody else. That, <laughs> yes. That would be the Santa real and Mrs. star of the show. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, the one that a lot of these kids are here to see. Look at the excitement and the, the crowd. Brought to you by the Razor Law Firm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we say goodbye to Santa Claus and his lovely bride, we want to thank everyone who have come down and made this parade such a beautiful event. All of our sponsors, um, too many to name, and I think we've mentioned many of them during the parade. Yes, and uh, to everyone who didn't make it to this parade, we're sorry because this has been a great parade. We hope you enjoy watching it on TV, and this is Pat Capello. And I'm Carlo Giannotti. And have a happy holiday season. Until next year, behave and Merry Christmas.